All right, Coach Robinson. Uh, first off, how do you feel things went today at McKinley High School here in uh, Honolulu? Um, I think they went relatively good. I mean, we came here to learn some things about individuals and as a team as a whole, and I think that uh, we learned some of those things. We, we lost some close matches, but I think we learned some things in those matches, and I think that that's the reason that uh, you want to come to a tournament like this where you wrestle other people. 165, you have a ranked guy in Wozniak losing to Kingsley. Does that change who you're going to put out there at 165 pounds? Well, I mean, I think it, we, we look at it a little bit different. Um, you know, you got to give Brandon a chance. Um, obviously, Nick has been there uh, for the beginning of the season, and so we'll go back, we'll look at it, we'll look at common opponents, we'll look at those things, and um, the, the season's still pretty young, so um, it, we got some time to decide what we need to do. You got the big five, Coach, who, who obviously all five guys um, can, can win national titles if you look at 33, 41, uh, 57, 74, 97. You got those guys. Those guys are pretty good. They can all win national titles. Who else has to kick in for you? You got Short at 49. You got Wozniak at uh, you know, 65, Far at 84. How are you going to pick those points up? Who are you going to need to step up for you, Coach? Well, I think we're going to need the other five to step up. I mean, I think uh, you don't win it with five people. You win it with, you know, seven, eight, or nine. But, I mean, you know, you forgot Crail's in there at heavyweight. We think that, that he's good enough to be an All-American and be up there this year. Obviously, uh, Far and, sh and Short are there, too. So, I, I think... Uh, I think they can be there. I think Waz or uh, Wanzek can be there, or Kingsley. Either one of them have that potential. So, one of the things that we're trying to do here is establish where we are, what we need to do to get to where we want to be at the end of this season. And so, I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of questions that were answered here at the tournament, and, and there was a lot of questions that that are new. So, I mean, we uh, we just need to keep going forward and focus on what we need to do to get there at the end of the year. You know, ultimately, this was your brainchild. Zaleski said that everybody I've talked to said this was Jay Robinson's brain, brainchild. He was the one that said we wanted to you know, take wrestling to Hawaii. And I think Jim said he was coaching underneath you at Minnesota and you guys came over here. Is that true? Yeah. Uh, the very first year, Jimmy was an assistant coach. I recruited him at Iowa. He came up to uh, Minnesota with me and uh, we came here. There was a individual tournament then. But the idea is, is that coming to Hawaii is that I think wrestling has to grow, and my wife is an Ironman, and, and, they, and Ironman have what they have, destination events, to where you go and you do the event, and then you, you stay after and you enjoy it. And I think those are some of the things that, that we're missing, uh, our sport is missing, is that, you know, you go to the Super Bowl and you just don't go and, and come back. You go and you stay and you enjoy it, you know, and, and Hawaii is that kind of thing. And so, in doing this and building this, you know, with American and Teague Moore and then Mark Cody and Jimmy Zaleski, they had the vision to say, hey, let's go here and try this. Let's try to bring something different here, you know, to wrestling that would be pretty cool, that people would really want to go to. And not just uh, the wrestling people, but that we could give value to everybody. We could give value to the fans that would want to go and take a little bit of a vacation. Uh, our athletes, it's a little bit different because it's a round robin, is that everybody's guaranteed three, four, or five matches, which is completely different because you're trying to get matches for your younger guys. Sometimes they go to the scuffle or the Midlands and they're one and one and out. And so you don't get any, any more matches. Here they get matches. Um, the guys that won each weight class, they qualified to go on an international tour with USA Wrestling. So USA Wrestling benefits. So, so that's a positive. Uh, the crew of people here in Hawaii have set up a bunch of clinics for us. So the, the, the people in the state of Hawaii and the, and the high school kids are going to benefit by all these coaches going out and, and bringing stuff to, to the state of Hawaii. So there's a lot of, you know, to, to coin a phrase, stakeholders in this whole thing that there's value for everybody. Right, and, and so that's what we want to do. We want to make it so everybody gets something out of it, so it can be a fun thing. We can get competition at the same time. Um, because they qualify for an international team, we get to train together for three or four days. All right, so we get different training partners. There's just a whole lot of things that have happened here, you know. And in those three coaches, you know, Cody Zaleski and and more, you know, I give them a lot of kudos because we talk to a lot of people. And there's a lot of people that say, yeah, yeah, we're interested. But there's not a lot of people that really step up to do new things. And, th and these guys stepped up. And I think it was, it's been fun. It's been fun for the athletes. It's great. 
you know, a lot of a lot of other sports come here, basketball, volleyball, you know, all these sports swimming comes here to train. Why can't wrestling? Why can't wrestling get some of the good things and enjoy some things that are different? I mean, you know, you ask the simple question. You want to go to uh, you want to go to Chattanooga? You want to go to Chicago? Or you want to go to Hawaii? Where do you want to go? You know, where would the kids like to go? Where would the coaches like to go? And if you can get to competition, and if you can get those things that you can get at those other places, why not go and have a different experience? How much different, you know, speaking of the uh, Southern Scuffle, how much different of an experience is this for you guys compared to that last year? You guys I think you learned a lot about your team last year at the Scuffle, but this is most certainly a different experience altogether, a longer experience. How much different is this than that, the Scuffle or the Midlands? Um, it, it's different. They're all different. You know, it's different than Las Vegas. You know, they're all different. But you go there to find some things out about your team, you know, and you find different things along the way. We don't lack competition. I mean, we're going to wrestle Penn State this year, Iowa this year, okay? We're going to wrestle all these people anyway, okay? So do we need to go and wrestle them again and again and again? Um, or do we need to see some other people and do some other things and, and bring some of our younger guys along? We know, we know that you say about our five, we know, but the key for us is the next five. So we want to get them some competition. We want to get into an environment that they, that they can feel good at and that we can work with them. And I think that, that this, this tournament and this, this thing is going to help us. You know, I'll talk to some people that say, hey, what's Minnesota going to do next year when the big five are gone? Like some people acting like you guys are going to fall off a cliff or go away. But, you know, what do you say to people like that, that, you know, once these big five are gone, how does Minnesota reload? Well, I, I don't think that, you know, everybody talks about reload, but I think that one of the things that you, you do is that I think that we've been pretty consistent over the last 17, 18 years once we started getting trophies. And it, part of it is developing our athletes. And I think that if, if you look at it, I think we've, um, we've had more freshmen there All-American than any other school in the last 17 years. Right? So we have an ability to bring some people up. So it's the same thing whether it's Far or Crails or Short or Wanzak, okay, or Brand Kale. Those guys are going to have to step up. They're going to have to become the leaders. There is an expectation of Minnesota of what they're supposed to do. And why are those guys any different than the Hard Tongues or the Lesners? You know, are those guys, the Morgans, those guys that came before? There will be other people to step up. And that's part of, of who and what Minnesota is. When the Big Five leave, does Jay Robinson leave with them? Is he done? You know I have to ask you every time we yeah, talk. Yeah. Um, no, I'm fine. I'm fine right now. I'm still enjoying it. It's, it's a lot of fun, you know. It, people make a lot about age, but it, it doesn't really make any difference to me. As long as you enjoy what you're doing, you can bring some value to what's going on. And one of the things when you're older, you see things different. You, when, when you're younger, you, you get a little bit of experience, and then you... Uh, w with that experience, you know, you put some knowledge together, but when you get older, you start connecting the dots. You start figuring out, it's a little bit of wisdom, and if you can put, you know, take that and, and, and give it to the young coaches and give it to the athletes, hopefully you can get them there a little bit quicker. And then, so, there's still, there's still time left. Um, I got some time, so I'm not, uh, not going anywhere in the near future. Are you going to go sit on the beach at all? Are you going to enjoy this? at all? Or are you always working and thinking? Well, I mean, but see, I, I think that people talk about working is that, is that life is about, is that you were put here. God put everybody here for a purpose, all right? And when you find your purpose, what you have is passion. You get up in the morning and you're excited about what you do. And as long, that is more important than anything. And actually in the Bible, it's kind of funny, is that the word retirement isn't mentioned in the Bible. You just work and then you die. <laughs> That's it, you know? And so, as long as you're doing, okay, I enjoy what I do in, in the, during the school year. I enjoy a lot what I do at camps, helping young kids learn things. Is that you have some experience and you want to partake it. You don't, you want to, those kids to step on the same, same kind of landmines you did. You, you want to steer them and help them get to their place a lot, uh, a lot more efficient. You know, and as long as you can do that and then you get up in the morning and you're happy and you're having time. And there's other times that for me to spend with my, my fam, family and my, my wife and my two kids and our, our grandkids. And I want to do that too, so it's balancing the whole thing. So are you going to sit on the beach at all? I'm going to sit on the beach a bunch here in the next four days. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get burnt pretty bad. <laughs> and I'm probably going to have a couple of, uh, couple of strawberry daiquiris. <laughs> but it should be a good time.
All right, Coach, you got anything else for me? No, it's it's great. I think that one of the things that when we did this is that you guys flow came over here because I think it's going to validate what this could be and how big it could be. And we, we've got an after action meeting with the coaches tomorrow. We're going to come up with the things we did good, the things that we need to work on. And we got some pretty cool ideas that we could grow this thing. And, and we want other teams. We want other teams to see the value and get in here, you know, is that other sports are doing it coming here for reasons we want wrestling to do the same thing maybe you can't come every year maybe you come every three or four years what a great recruiting deal hey come to minnesota go to hawaii every year it's a pretty good deal i like it all right coach thanks for the time uh go go get your evening started i appreciate you meeting me you know we love the competition you met me jay robinson hey it's great you communicate better than like most of these kids hey. on their phones just so you know we're good we're good to go all right coach thanks you bet